the right honorable Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister, thank you for being here. Good to see you, Mark. The most popular show in Canada last year was your COVID briefings. Every day we'd come together as a country, we would look at you, stick in your head out of the front door, Rideau Cottage, like a bird in a cuckoo clock, looking around like it's Groundhog Day, and if you see your shadow, that's it. Six more weeks of not seeing your grandmother, getting high on legal weed, and binge watching Shit's Creek. But what can we expect this year? Uh, this year, we're going to be building back better. We're going to be showing how Canadians bounce back from a crisis, how we pull together, and also how we engage with the world uh, to make sure that everyone gets through COVID-19. We all had a rough quarantine. It was hard on a lot of people, especially you. If 2021 Justin Trudeau could go back in time and give some advice to 2020 Justin Trudeau, maybe a little pep talk, what would you say? Uh, I'd say trust Canadians. Hey, hang on, hey, hang on, hang on one second. My fellow Canadians, I want to talk to you about COVID-19, COVID-19, COVID and I, ah! <laughs> I've never been so sexually attracted to anyone in my life. You're me, but you don't have the beard, so clearly you're me from the past. I had to warn you about something. There's a, yeah, no, I, there's a pandemic coming, and we're going to have to wear a mask and cover our beautiful I, face. And I am the me of the future. You are the me of the past. That's impossible. Yes. You bald-faced liar. You'd never shave this thing off. We've <laughs> named it. It's Mr. Whiskers. Oh, dear. If you're me from the future, good, you can give me some uh, advice. How about, uh, well, what should I do? What is the one thing I've done that possibly uh, you regret? Mm. The beard, perhaps? Well, no. Our biggest regret of our career so far is saying, speaking, uh, moistly on them. Actually, that, that went viral and made sure that people actually remembered not to do that. Going viral is bad. We're talking about the pandemic. <laughs> do you have any advice for me? What advice would you give me? <sighs> Trust in science. Uh, focus on what the experts are saying and try and keep Canadians pulling together. It's good advice. For a minute, I was worried you were going to say something like give everybody CERB and vaccine and then have a quick election while all the other parties are broke. But they would have seen through that. Before you go back, just in case there's another pandemic, I want you to have this. <laughs> Can I just... Before, after... You're right. I do look like an idiot. I'm going to go shave. Good plan. Full disclosure, we shot that piece before he dropped the writ, so I couldn't talk about the election. Otherwise, I would have asked things like, how will you fix the housing crisis? Can pipelines really make Canada more green? And why the hell did you call an election in a pandemic, you tool? Speaking of tools, I guess the wardrobe people better dust off my Erin O'Toole costume. Ooh.